Hello, in this problem we have point P which is negative 3, 4 which is the point on terminal side of angle theta and we have to find the exact value of sine of theta. There are two ways of going about this problem, one is faster than the other but the faster method requires you to remember the formulas so I will go over both of them. So the first method is using the formulas of sine of theta equals to y out of r and x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. So given the point negative 3, 4, we know that x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to positive 4. And in order to use the formula for sine of theta from the point, we just need to calculate r which we can do using the formula x squared plus y squared equals to r squared, which is similar to Pythagorean theorem. So we have x is negative 3, so let's substitute negative 3 instead of x, and we get negative 3 to the second, plus y is positive 4, so instead of y squared, we will write 4 to the second, equals to r to the second, and this will give us negative 3 times negative 3, which is equal to positive 9, plus 4 times 4 is 16, equals to r to the second. 9 plus 16 is 25, and it's still equal to r squared. Since we are solving for r, we need to undo the second power, and the inverse of squaring is to take a square root, so let's take a square root of r squared, Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do the same thing to the other side. So square root of 25, square root and the second power will cancel and we get r is equal to square root of 25 is 5. So this is our solution for r. Now we can use this information to solve for sine of theta, which is equal to y divided by r, y is equal to 4 out of r is equal to 5. So sine of theta is 4 out of 5. If you do not remember the formulas, this problem can be done using a reference triangle, which begins by plotting the point on x and y axis. So negative 3, 4 will be around here in the second quadrant. The angle is always with the origin. So let's connect the point with the origin. The reference angle is always with the x-axis, so theta will be here. And in order to complete this reference triangle, we just have to drop the perpendicular to the x-axis. So let's label the sides. The one that is on the x-axis is the x-value, which is negative 3. The one that is opposite to angle theta represents the y-value, which is positive 4 sine of theta is the ratio of opposite side divided by hypotenuse and the opposite to angle theta is 4 and we just need to find the hypotenuse to find our ratio so let's calculate the hypotenuse of this right triangle and we can do so by using c squared equals to a squared plus b squared so we have c squared is equal to, instead of a, let's plug in 4 to the second, plus instead of b, let's plug in negative 3 and still to the second. And we get c squared is equal to 4 times 4 is 16, plus negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. This gives us c squared is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25. We need to solve for c, and this means we need to undo the second power. The inverse of squaring is a square root. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, let's do the same thing to the other side, so square root of 25. Square root and the second power will cancel, and we get c is equal to square root of 25 is 5. So the measure of the hypotenuse is 5. So now we can solve for sine of theta which is equal to opposite to the angle theta is 4. So we have 4 out of hypotenuse is equal to 5. So sine of theta is equal to 4 out of 5. That's all.